A new king has been crowned in King's Landing. Will Brandon Stark be the ruler we need or the ruler we deserve? Sansa Stark preserves sovereignty in the North. Should we expect an easy transition or will this be another Brexit situation? Also, what's a Brexit? King's Landing has been magically rebuilt, this time with 10 times the amount of brothels and 900,000 less people. Well, thank God that wheel was broken. All this good news and more today on Good, good Day, Day Westeros. Westeros. As you can see, it's a beautiful day here in King's Landing. Sure is, Broma. And it seems like only eight weeks ago, we were in the midst of an apocalyptic firestorm on the brink of a full societal collapse. And yet, here we are with a fully rebuilt city and Daenerys Targaryen is only but a memory. Who? Uh, Daenerys Targaryen. Uh, the Mad Queen, she burnt the whole oh, city to the ground. Yes, that's, that's right. I almost mm -hmm. forgot because it was just such a short reign. Truly it was. It seemed like her reign of terror was about 20 minutes long. An afternoon at best. It's like I went to brunch and then it was over. Just like a bad date. You go on a lot of brunch dates? Not anymore. Since 90% of the city was killed, Tinder King's Landing has become pretty bleak. It's like the same eight people over and over again and three of them are brawn. Yeah, you can do worse than the master of coin. No, I can't. He is definitively the worst. Well, there is big news to discuss. We officially have a new king and it is you guessed it, Frank Stallone. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> uh, king of the Seven Kingdoms, oh, six, it's six now. Oh, yeah. King of the Six Kingdoms, Brandon Stark. Brand the Broken. Are we really calling him that? I think we have to. Like, is he okay with that, though? I mean, it's in the official press release. So it like, says Brand the Broken? It Brand the Broken, and there's a little trademark thing next to it, so. I, mean, I guess he knows. I mean, is there something else? Brand the Brains. Brand the Ooh. Brave. Brand the Brainy. Brand the Beautiful. Brand Fesser X. Brand the Bold. Brand the Big Dick Energy. Well, not according to his sister. I'm we not even. Rebrand. 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 Oh, look at that. You gotta have a strong personal brand. You gotta. Listen, I thought he was the Three Eyed Raven. I still don't understand that. Can we he... roll that tape? I became the Three Eyed Raven. I'm not Lord Stark. Not anymore. I can never be Lord of anything. I'm the Three Eyed Raven. Well, then I guess he's Brand Done <laughs> being the Three Eyed Raven. Wow, well, then I guess I'm Brand Done with this segment. Come on. I think he's gonna be a pretty good king. You do? Roll the tape. What was going on with Bran Stark? Like there are literally thousands of people dying around you trying to protect you and you're just like, peace dude, I'm gonna go fly with some ravens. I wish he wasn't such a useless interview. What the f Bran? Weren't you supposed to be able to see things? Like an entire fleet of Euron's ships? Bran, we were supposed to play Fortnite last week and you totally ghosted me. What the f Good Day Westeros is brought to you by Raven Brand, the king of breakfast cereals. It's dull and flavorless, and it's mostly just sits there, but it's good for you, and that's good for the realm. Sounds awfully bland. Bland and stark. Oh, come on, he's not bland. I mean, he's got the best story. Okay, try telling that to Sansa, who had to endure Joffrey, Cersei, Littlefinger, Ramsay, and Bran. Why do you put Bran on that list? She had to ride down all the way to King's Landing with him from Winterfell for that joke of a meeting, only to be told that his was the best story so that he can become king, another white man? Give me a break. She had to outsmart all of those psychopaths while Bran was just sitting around traipsing through the forest and like sitting on the sidelines like Dr. Manhattan. So yes, yes, you know what? I am out of here. I am following my queen to Winterfell. And I can say now that we no longer live in a place where we have to pretend to support the rulers that are forced upon us. I'm Team Sansa and I will support my queen and that is why I will be transferring to the local news show, Good Day Winterfell. Good Day Win- what? Yes, and for more information you can check out my Medium post, Why I'm Leaving King's Landing. But the show, what- what'll happen to our show? Well, it'll still happen. It could, you know, it'll be one of the highest rated shows in the world, probably. Even if people have to go back and watch old episodes to remind themselves of the good times. But how do you know it'll be good? Because I co-created this show with you, Bob. And I know what's good. Well, that takes us to the end of Good Day Westeros. At least, as we've known it. Till next time, maybe. The night is bright. And full of possibilities. Later.
Do you have any idea what happened to that dragon? Did anyone get track that? You know, he, he took Daenerys' body with him. Bodies, people can come back to life. I know multiple people who came back to life. It's like a simple stab wound. Bird. There's a It's like a whole island of people that can just bring uh, mad queens, stuff of that nature, back to life. Does anyone care? I mean, this is the same dragon that rained down atomic hellfire on our entire city, massacred uh, thousands, millions of people, tough to say. Did he know what he was doing when he melted the throne? Did anyone? Like, did he understand? Did he think the throne killed Daenerys? Or does he understand, like, visual metaphor and literary devices? Do you understand stuff like that? Do dragons get that? Fine, yes, turn the lights off, turn the lights off. There are other stations, there are other networks, there are other cities, it's fine. I'll be back. There'll be lots of fan theories here on Good Day Westworld. Unbelievable bullshit.